And here we go then, reigniting a classic rivalry. Bret Hart versus Jerry the King Lawler. The screen filter isn't too bad at this point in time. During the entrances, the screen filter gives me a bit of a headache, I must admit. But at this point in time, it's not too bad at all. Bret with a nice snap suplex there on Jerry the King Lawler. Of course, before we get into this too much, if you have any suggestions for random matches, drop them down in the comment section down below. Of course, I'll get them added onto the spreadsheet, and if yours gets picked via the random number generator, then you will be given a shout-out in the process. So, Bret Hart and Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, yeah, classic rivalry. I think it was sort of early 90s, rather than this is the only real classic arena I could find this year. I'll have to download a few, I suppose. Um, of course, uh, Jerry, I think, joined WWE in about 92, 93-ish. I should probably stop talking now, to be honest, because I'm I'm sort of 50% sure of everything I'm saying. And if PJ Tovey watches this, he's going to rip me to shreds because he has a an incredible encyclopedic knowledge of uh, ancient... Well, I say ancient. I mean, 80s and 90s wrestling. He knows everything about absolutely everything, so I'm not going to get too into it. Lawler now bringing Brett back up to his feet, up onto the shoulders in the fireman's carry into a gut buster. Big move there by Jerry. Jerry. Brett managing to roll Jerry the King Lawler through and a big forearm across the face. For now sending Jerry into the corner. Big right hand and a boot as well. Brett now with a DDT on Jerry the King Lawler, taking him down. And now Brett is heading up to the top. High-risk maneuver here. And it pays off the big elbow. Into the pin. And it's a two-count already. Brett could have a very, very quick victory here over Jerry the King Lawler. But Lawler fighting back with a forearm. Now sending Brett off the ropes. Both guys collide chest to chest in the middle. And then Brett is the quickest to take advantage, sending Lawler to the outside. Brett now trying to get the crowd going behind him, but in that period of time he took trying to G up the crowd. He allowed Lawler to get back into control. Now Lawler fighting back with the forearms before Brett catches and launches him back into the ring. Brett re-enters. Big uppercut, and Jerry no-sells it, comes flying back with a big lariat, taking him down and dropping the fist into the face of Brett as well. A little uh, glitch in the matrix there. As Lawler just clubbing blow to the back of Brett Hart, now bringing Brett back up to his feet once again. Brett fighting back with the jawbreaker. Dropping Lawler. And a big boot across the chest as well. Brett now bringing Lawler back up to his feet. What is the plan here as Brett drags him along and slaps him face first into the top turnbuckle. Knee in the gut as well. Now Brett makes his way up to the second rope. Dropping the fist right into the heart of Jerry the King Lawler. Brett now bringing the King back up to his feet. But Jerry the King Lawler, they're playing possum, arm drag, taking Brett down. Now up into that fireman's carry, drags him along to the corner before dropping him snake eyes on that top turnbuckle pad. Jerry now locking Brett into the tree of woe, the big boot in the gut. And Brett drops head first into the matters. Now Jerry looking to continue the offense with a drop kick. Jerry the King Lawler hit a drop kick, my word. There's the pin. Two, only a two count. But Jerry is in control of this match at this point in time. Brett with the boot in the back of the leg and now into a running bulldog as well on Jerry the King Lawler. Brett bringing Jerry up, but Jerry now fighting back with the arm breaker and a big clothesline to the back of the head of Brett Hart. Flattens Brett. Now Jerry bringing Brett back up to his feet. Up into the pile driver. There we go. Jerry the King Lord with the pile driver into the pin. One, two. Oh, and Brett kicks out on the two. Wow. 
big, big moment there in this match. Jerry the King Lawler looking for the victory. Not quite enough. Brett slides off the back of the shoulders into that reverse DDT on Jerry the King Lawler. Now dragging Jerry into the middle of the ring. Again, there we go. Brett now looking to position himself and does lock in that sharpshooter. So one thing they have done this year, as Jerry kicks straight out of the sharpshooter, doesn't it? One thing they have done this year is they have thought about that with submissions because that was always the problem last year is that when they had a, a finisher, people would drag their opponent into the middle of the ring. However, when they had a submission finisher, they wouldn't do that. But this year, it looks like they are actually position their opponents ready for their submission finishes. However, Jerry the King Lord was able to break free from that sharpshooter almost instantaneously. Jerry now sending Brett into the corner, takes him up onto the top. You know what Jerry's plan is here? He's looking for a super backdrop. Wow, big impact there. Jerry's done some damage to himself, but it's incomparable to the damage that he has done there to Brett Hart. But Brett out of nowhere, playing possum, taking Jerry down, brings him now back up to a standing base before dropping him with that Russian leg sweep. Brett now bringing Jerry the King Lawler back up, but Jerry fighting back with that cross arm over the back thingy. I completely lost my train of thought there for a second. Nice drop kick there once again by Jerry Lawler into the pin. One, two, only a two count. Lawler thought he had it there. The King brings Brett back up to his feet. Takes him up for the second time of the match into that pile driver. Spiking Bret Hart on his head. There's the pin. One, two, and no. Wow. Ruddy Nora. Ruddy Nora indeed. Bret Hart able to kick out the second pile driver by Jerry the King Lawler. Jerry looking for a vertical suplex. Bret avoided it. And Jerry taking Bret down with an STO. Okay. Jerry the big knee in the face of Brett. And into a Northern Light suplex. Bridges for the pin. Two. Was Jerry's moveset actually like this? I must admit. I didn't see Jerry wrestle that much. Uh, back in the day, I must admit. But did he actually do moves like this? Did he do a Northern Light suplex with a bridge? Because if he did, he's a much better wrestler than I ever, in, I ever sort of gave him granted for, to be honest. I always sort of had him down as a sort of mid-card comedy act. But I know he was a lot better when he was in... Uh, Memphis wrestling, wasn't he? But Brett now front chancery on Jerry. Into a gut buster. Brett now once again sending Jerry off the ropes over the top, landing back first on the mat. Brett now taking Jerry up, and he's going to return the favor of a pile driver of his own. Jerry is stunned, not moving there, and he is staying down for the free count. And Brett, the hitman heart, picks up the victory, really against the run of play, actually. So he's done incredibly well there because Jerry Lawler had a fantastic match, hitting his pile driver twice, and the referee's having to check Jerry, who's he is moving, he is stirring now, which is encouraging, but. That big spiked power drive from Bret Hart could have taken it out of Jerry, but it was enough to get the free count. Well, there we go. That's the end of our random match. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please make sure you hit that like button. Of course, subscribe if you would like to see some more. Any suggestions for random matches, drop them down in the comment section down below. And of course, they get added to the spreadsheet. And if yours gets picked via the random number generator, then you get a shout out in the process. I've been Chevy Gamer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another. WWE 2K20 random match. Bye.